Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch today's video. So today I do have my October's favorites and flops. I know it's November 2nd, but you know, I had a lot of stuff. I had a lot of stuff to film for October, so I ran out of room. But anyway, if you'd like to see some of my favorite products that I either tried or got or whatever in the month of October, maybe some that I did not like, then uh, please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, bookmark the page, all that kind of stuff. Um, I also have um, an OnlyFans page dedicated to this channel. You can watch tomorrow's video there today for free. You can chat with me, all that kind of stuff. So link is down below if you'd like to check that out. So I forgot to grab it, but I remember now, so I'll just put a little picture of it. But the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 Foundation with the red cap, it's new looks like this. Um, I love that. I, that was my foundation I reviewed for October. It is full coverage. Um, sorry, I got a hair in my mouth. Got it. Uh, it's pretty lightweight. Um, I would say if you don't have a lot to cover, I would definitely say it is concealer optional coverage. It's a really nice foundation. Um, on my skin, it does start looking pretty dewy about the four or five hour mark. I still, I, I love that foundation. I've been wearing it a ton during the month of October. It's just so nice. It is affordable, cruelty-free. I love their 3-in-1 Luminous Foundation that they discontinued, but pretty much any of the 3-in-1 foundations that I tried from CoverGirl, I really, really like. Um, it's just a really nice full coverage, but looks very nice on the skin. Very smooth, and um, yeah, it's just a really great foundation. Love that, and I forgot to grab it, so sorry. Okay, so for some reason, I don't know why, probably because I was, I don't, I don't know why. Um, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, so apologies if you're not into eyeshadow palettes, but very first one I want to talk about is, of course, the big, big gal, the Profusion Moonstone palette. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. A lot of cool tones, um, which I love cool tones. There's definitely some warmth in here, but you get the big giant pressed glitters, which are stunning. Um, you get these I would consider these transition shades, or you could probably even use them as bronzers, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful palette. 42 shades. It is blendable. It is uh, pigmented, uh, very user-friendly. Um, the shimmers are really, really nice. The mattes are gorgeous. I like that the names are actually on like the palette itself. So many high-end palettes um, don't have the shade names. Like It's just on the stupid plastic sheet. And so, like, if a big giant palette that costs less than $20 can put it on the actual plastic on the palette, so can the high-end ones. But it's really, really pretty. Cruelty-free. I love Profusion. It's just such a gorgeous palette. I mean, I'm just blown away by the array of shades. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just so good. I mean, they're just beautiful, beautiful just buttery, buttery shades. Cannot recommend this enough. Um, if you are looking for a new fall palette for fall, but that was uh, that was too much. If you're looking for a new palette for fall, I would definitely recommend the Profusion Moonstone. They're just like so, so good. So definitely recommend that one. Um, one that I just barely tried for the first time, but I've used this two other times. I actually did use this since Halloween. Um, it's the um, Morphe Lisa Frank 35B palette. I use this for my Beetlejuice look. And oh my gosh, this is such a pretty palette. Um, I use just mainly the purples and, and greens in here for that. But Amir, I love the like kind of holographic packaging. You do have the names written down here. I mean, some of these shades are just, they're just beautiful. Just a beautiful palette. You know, I was born in 85, so I definitely, I loved Lisa Frank, like art supplies or like school supplies and stuff. So when this first came out, I wasn't like, I didn't bother purchasing it, but it was, it went on clearance for like $10. So I'm like, okay, whatever. But they're just such beautiful shades, pigmented, easy to use. Um, it's, I think it is a part of a pigment palette as well, just because like, I, I know that that orange and that pink is going to stain, but it's just such a nice palette. You got a lot of color. So I think this is a great palette by itself or a supplemental palette. And 
like I said in that video, don't buy Morphe unless it's on sale. Like, it's crazy expensive, but I have so many Morphe palettes now because they're always having 50% off sales. Sometimes they have a 40% off sale and you can get an extra 20% off. So you can sometimes get like 60 to 70% off of Morphe stuff. Just wait for just wait for a sale. I do think that they do have good palettes, not for the original price that they try to sell them for, but for sale prices, totally, totally, totally. But love the packaging, love the pigmentation. I cannot wait to continue to use this. It's just such a nice palette, and uh, it reminds me of like an old school binder that I would have had. So super cute, and uh, once again, super affordable when you can get it on sale, and they're always having sales. Sign up for their. Uh, their uh, email, sorry, it's late. You can probably tell by the lighting. I'm exhausted but, and in my pajamas, but don't mind that. Um, so um, let's take a break for palettes for a minute. Let's go into fragrances. So you saw this in my Sunflower Glow Up. I've never done a full review on this, but this has to be one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. I can't even tell like how much I've used. So it's down to like right there, but this is the Golden Sunflower Fine Fragrance Mist. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. It just smells so good. Love the packaging with the little sunflower filled in the background, but it has notes of sunflower petals, orange flower, and fresh vanilla. It's such a feminine, just gorgeous scent. I've been using this since probably mid-September, but it was just like perfect for my sunflower look. And I wanted to tell you guys about it but it's just such a great scent. If you can still get this, I would definitely recommend it. It's just stunning. It's just so beautiful. Love this scent. Even though I haven't done a full review, it is something I've been using a ton lately, and it's just it's just an amazing scent. Love this stuff so much. This is one of those from Bath & Body Works I would repurchase, and there is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin I repurchase, and the Twilight Woods. So this would be the third third scent out of all the scents I've tried from Bath & Body Works, the Golden Sunflower would be the other one. Um, I like Bath & Body Works, but their scents are like, oh yeah, it's a nice scent. But there's, oh, and the Black Cherry Merlot, sorry. So four scents, um, I've repurchased that, the Black Cherry Merlot. But yeah, there's a very few scents from Bath & Body Works that I'm like, oh my gosh, this, I would pay full price for this. And the Golden Sunflower is one of them. It's that good. So yeah. Another scent is the Body Ecology Spiced Pumpkin. I love this stuff so much. I've not picked up a backup bottle. I think I still have a little bit of time, but it's just so fall. Like, I mean, I will wear this all the way into December because it's still kind of got that spicy kind of baked goods kind of scent, but this just screams fall to me. It's the cute packaging. It's cruelty free. You get eight fluid ounces. It's under $4, but the scent, the scent is the thing that is amazing. It smells really good long lasting. I get compliments on this. And yeah, I mean, I love the sweet cinnamon pumpkin, like I said, from Bath and Body Works, but I don't have to purchase that anymore. This is just as good, slightly different, but it's just as good as the Bath and Body Works. So if you're looking for a pumpkin spice kind of perfume or body splash, whatever body mist, I would definitely recommend the Body Ecology Spiced Pumpkin. It is so good. Definitely, definitely recommend it. I'm going to buy a backup of this because it's that good. So, okay, let's get back to eyeshadow palettes. I wanted to give you a break. Profusion, oh, sorry, yep, guess I got double Profusion in here, but we had the Profusion Moonstone, the Profusion um, Halloween um, co collection, the kind of celestial, so I have the Mercury Retrograde and the New Moon Rising. These are just spectacular. Big, giant mirror. This is 16 shades. The pans are very generous. This kind of reminds me of, um, sorry, just kind of the layout. I know this is bigger. I have not done a look with these yet, but the Norvina palettes, when I saw this, um, when I saw these palettes, that's kind of what it reminded me of is, sorry. Okay. So kind of, I don't know. I just get like Norvina vibes when I look at the two like side by side. Just like the shapes of the pans, obviously these ones are bigger, lots of greens, but love this palette. Very, very pigmented, easy to use, easy to blend. I've used this palette four or five times during the month of October. I had to go into the office one day because our electricity went out. You probably heard me like in a video mentioning that our electricity went out because of a storm. 
um, I used this palette, the, uh, the New Moon Rising. The greens are just spectacular. If you like green shadows, then you would love these. This is kind of a duochrome, but so pretty. Once again, you can't go wrong with Profusion. If you don't want to spend Morphe money, I would definitely recommend Profusion because great quality, pigmented, just great. I absolutely love the Mercury Retrograde too. This is also from that Halloween collab. I'm guessing they're probably on sale right now since it's past Halloween, so check that out. But this is more of a purple and blue palette. Uh, the pressed glitters are really, really nice. The speckled shades are unique, and they're just really, really nice. Cruelty-free. Love these palettes. They're beautiful. They have an Alien collection. That didn't speak to me, but these ones did. They were $10. I'm assuming they're on sale, like I said, but they're just absolutely beautiful palettes. Like, I was just blown away by them. And to me, these don't scream Halloween, even though they were dropped during their Halloween stuff, but it's just a very usable palette you can use all year round and super affordable. So, so, so pretty. Definitely recommend those if you are looking for some new palettes. Even cheaper now are the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers, the 2021 collections. These were good. This one, the, uh, the, what is this called? Boogie Nights. Bright, beautiful, was able to create a really pretty look. It is powdery as hell. Um, this is a pigment palette. It's really, really nice. Like I said, very, very pigmented, but they are powdery. I mean, just sticking my finger in there, it just kind of balls up because it's a pigment, but they are lovely. Once again, if you want a bright palette, the Boogie Nights is your way to go. Just really, really pretty. The formula is a little bit different from other um, Fantasy Maker palettes that I've used, but it's still really, really nice. And like I said, that pigmentation is even brighter than the Morphe. Really lovely. The um, Hello Queen one, uh, there's only one matte in here and it's the black. But once again, this is really nice. I was able to create a complete eye look with this. This one is beautiful. Once again, very soft. Different type of formula than I'm used to from Wet n Wild but it's really, really pretty. So any of their stuff, if your Walmart, if your Walmart still has these, I would definitely recommend picking them up, picking them up because they're beautiful. They're just stunning. Okay, um, last thing from like makeup wise, this is the Wet n Wild Limited Edition um, blush, and this is, I cannot find the name again, but it's so cute, and I'm so sad because I ripped off the label, but it was like, um, it was like something, it was like something pumpkin related. I can't remember. It smells like pumpkin spice. Had a really cute little face in it, but this is such a pretty peachy orange blush. Perfect for any time of year, but it's just so pretty. It's just, it's very pigmented. It goes on the skin gorgeous and I absolutely love it. I'm glad I picked it up and I love the smell. So, so nice. So that was definitely a favorite. Um, Okay, so the um, Hair Rescue Ultimate Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner and the uh, Hair Serum. I left it in the bathroom, but I love this stuff. I've been using it a ton um, since I've received it, and it just leaves my hair really, really full, really thick looking and feeling. It has a little bit of a tingle. It smells really good. I absolutely love this stuff. They did send this to me for free, but I am going to repurchase. I'm going to purchase this when I run out just because it is that good. This shampoo and conditioner and the serum, it is the most thickening shampoo and conditioner. You know, um, it makes my hair look and feel like it used to before I had my daughter, before health issues and stuff like that. Um, I love this stuff. It's available at Walmart, Amazon. It's super affordable and uh, it's a good shampoo and conditioner. Definitely, definitely recommend it if you're having issues with hair thinning. Or anything like that this stuff is great I love this stuff okay so I had one thing that I pretty much almost hated um, the sponge gel I'll put a picture right here the sponge gel um, little pumpkin spice little body wash infused little sponge it smells it's still in my bathroom but it smells like a mixture of ivory soap and like cheap pumpkin 
the smell is not great. It's not my favorite. Um, I should probably just toss it because I'm probably never going to use it again. I tried using it one other time. But the other reason I don't like it is it's super abrasive. I know it's a body buffer, but it is super, super abrasive. I am the queen of abrasive. I like a super, like, hard, dense body scrub. I, you know, my skin can take it. I like to, like, really do my elbows. But this thing hurts. It hurts. So with the smell and then with the how aggressive and, like, rough the buffer is, I don't like it. I don't recommend it. They might have other like ones that are like more delicate or something, but that one I just, I don't like. I don't think I would ever purchase anything from them again just because, yeah, I just, it's it's not good in my opinion. They're expensive as hell. They're like 14 or $16. And then I'll just forget the smell because they might have scents that are good, but it's just how abrasive and rough that little flower is. It's just so, it hurts. If you have like sensitive skin, I think that you, you would, it would, you would hate it. It would like hurt you. And it's just not good in my opinion. So only one flop this month for the month of October, but everything else I really liked. Um, and, uh, anyway, there we go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments, um, what were some of your favorites and maybe not so favorites for the month of October. I would love to know down below. And just so you know, I do have an eBay page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, all sorts of stuff. I also have a Facebook group where we get together and we share looks, hauls, um, all sorts of stuff. So links are down below if you'd like to check that out. And of course, you're more than welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all about your boy and babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Sorry, just had a coughing attack. Um, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.